hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is celeste if you're new here and if you're not new here welcome back i am so excited to be making this video hopefully you all saw my last video i just got back from new york literally this past weekend i took a one day trip up to new york about four five hour bus ride up to new york went to lock fest sold my shirts mind my locks my business shirts if you don't know i'm the owner of locks and business we are a t-shirt brand encouraging and inspiring people with locks to start their own business because we deal with a lot of hair discrimination so i packed up my suitcase went to um the bus stop okay at like 2 30 in the morning got to new york around seven ish o'clock in the morning set up my station um had an amazing time saw some amazing performers singers dancers fashion designers hairstylists met some great vendors sold out of my shirts it was an amazing time an amazing experience um all one day came back uh sunday morning i think at like one or two in the morning i was so tired but it was so worth it I really want to make this like an annual thing. Like every time Lockfest happens around like September, I'm trying to go up there. Like it was so great. I had a great time. So I want to make this video to do a, a quick little recap of kind of like the things that happened behind the scenes that you may not have seen in the vlog. If you didn't already see the vlog, definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to just share a few things that happened, a few things that I noticed, some things that might be helpful to you if you're preparing to go to Lockfest or if you're just preparing to go to any vendor event for your business. Um, I definitely want to share some things that happened. So I hope this video is helpful and let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so if you see me looking down, I am looking at my notes as always. But the first thing that I have written down here is to prepare for the worst but hope for the best okay so let me explain so um if you saw my travel vlog to um lock Fest, then you know that i had a fairly small medium-sized suitcase and i only brought what could fit in there so that's my clothing rack my shirts my mannequin flyers and that's about it so um you know with the vendor booth you have a table, you're supposed to have chairs, you know, some people, especially when it's outdoors, you have a canopy tent. That stuff didn't fit in my suitcase, okay? So I did not bring it. So I literally prepared for the worst, okay? I'm like, I'm going to a vendor event and I have no table, I have no chairs, it might rain and it did rain, and I have no canopy tent. What am I supposed to do? So I'm literally preparing for the worst. Okay, but still hoping for the best, still hoping that this is going to be an amazing experience, still hoping that everything is going to happen in my favor, right? So, um, you know, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. You know, I don't, I don't have all the fancy things that most people have, so I'm going to have to think outside the box, right? And so I'm literally planning and thinking of all these things that I can do because I'm putting myself in the worst kind of situation, but I'm still hopeful. But I'm like, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to make something shake, okay? It's going to shake. So I'm preparing for the worst, but what was so crazy and so amazing that as I was preparing for the worst, the best happened, like the best happened. The owner of Lockfest and the organizer, shout out to Miss Kim, so helpful when she saw that, you know, I was going up there one day trip, traveling out of state. And I didn't have the table and I didn't have the tent and anything. She was like, oh, okay, no problem. You know, she had me closer um, to like the door, the entrance. Um, but when she saw that I didn't have certain things, she was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, I can move you over here. You can be under the tent because she was like, you know, it's supposed to rain. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you so much. And so, you know, then I'm like setting up my, um, I'm setting up my clothing rack and still, you know, okay, I'm under the tent. So that's settled. But, you know, I still don't have a table. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it like this, do it like that. And so as I'm setting up, then these men bring a table to me and I'm like, you know, they didn't say anything. So I'm, I'm not assuming, like, I don't know it's mine. They didn't say it's mine. So I don't want to assume that it's mine. So I'm still building my tent or my, I'm still um, putting my uh, clothing rack together and getting my, how, you know, the layout and everything. And I asked her, I'm like, you know, Miss Kim, they, they left this table here. Is this table yours? And she was like, no, it's for you. And I said, Miss Kim, I was, 
I was so, I was like, oh my gosh. And that's when, if you saw the video, I was like, you want to be in my video? I just have to say thank you. Like, you're just, she was just so helpful. I was not planning on have, having a table. They got me a chair. Like, they just got the whole setup, you know? And they didn't have to. And I was literally like, I was going there with the best, a hopeful, you know, just trying to make it work with what I had. Just trying to make it work with what I had. And I'm the best I can with what I God just blessed me with her and she was just just so helpful and I'm going on a rant but it was just it just happened so I just wasn't expecting it at all I wasn't expecting it and I was just so grateful so even though I planned for the worst even though I'm like you know okay I'm kind of putting myself at a disadvantage here but I'm still in high spirits I'm still hopeful that you know it's going to be a great event here she comes you know and just made it so much better so hope for the best hope for the best even though you might not have everything you need you might not have everything you want plan like okay in reality this might be how you know this might be what happens plan for the worst but hope hope for the best and things will fall in line y'all things will fall in line oh my gosh when i tell you i was so Oh, I, I still can't believe how it all just worked out like that. It, it was amazing. And then another thing I planned, I, I like, it, it was weird. So, mind you, I knew I wasn't going to have a table, but I still brought my iPad. I still charged my iPad, not knowing, I don't know where I was going to put this iPad. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to hold it, like let people, like, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but I charged that iPad and I brought that iPad and I'm so glad that I did because I almost didn't. I was like, why am I even trying to bring this? I don't even have anywhere to put it. Yes, I did because it all worked out and I'm so glad that I did. So that's the first thing y'all oh my gosh you you just never know what god has in store you just never know how things are going to line up for you so just you know be realistic with yourself but know that your realistic plan child listen anything can happen anything can happen so i kind of went on a little rant there but woo, y'all take it take it and run with it and believe okay wow I'm done. Sorry. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is people are watching. People are always watching and people are sheep. Let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. So people are watching. All right. Let me tell y'all what happened. So it was like around noon and mind you, the event started around noon. So it was still very early. There wasn't too many people there, but there was a good amount of people there. But, you know, people don't really come until maybe like two or three hours, you know, once the event started. But there was like a good amount, amount of people who were like walking around, you know, checking out the vendors, checking out the scene and everything. And there was this one man in particular who came up to my table and showed interest in my shirts. And so, you know, I told him about our business, told him about what we did, you know, follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff, the whole spiel. And he was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to come back. I really like your shirts. I'm, I'm going to get one. I'm going to come back. And so in my head, I was like, well, why not just get it now? I was like, why are you waiting? And so I, I really, I, I was stuck on that for a little while. I was like, I was like, okay, why not get it now? You said you like it. You said you want it. You're interested. Why wait? And I was like, well, okay. okay, you know, I didn't, I didn't question him. I was like, wait, thank you so much, you know. But in my head, I was just like, that's kind of interesting, weird. Okay, fine, whatever, cool. So, <laughs> so then he goes away, and I notice he like he goes away, he walks around, but then he kind of like comes back at a table, kind of like diagonal from me, and he's just just watching, right? And then another woman comes up and kind of a similar situation. She was like, uh, you know, just wanted to know a little bit more about the business, usual, which is normal. And um, they're just like, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to come back. And I was like, why do they keep, why do they keep saying they're going to come back? Why? You're already here. You're already here. Why are you? I was like, okay. I just kept smiling. Thank you for checking it out. You know, but I just, I just couldn't understand. I just did not understand. But I was like, okay, no problem. Thank you so much for checking it out. And then... Um, these couple of, uh, young women about my age, they come up and like just super fun energy, just super excited. She was like, oh my gosh, I love your shirt. I need this right now. And I was like, my, I was like, my type of woman, 
my type of woman <laughs> you need it now that, that's what i want to hear right so she was like oh my god yes and she was there with her friend and her friend wanted it as well so in instantly bought it and i was like oh my gosh yes can i get a picture do 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 instagram all that good stuff and then they went away Soon after that, the first man, he comes back and he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to buy it. I was like, oh, now you want to buy. Oh, what's that real? How's that real, girl? Oh, you want to fuck with me now? Oh, you, oh, you want to fuck with me now? <laughs> I was like, oh, interesting. I was like, okay, cool, cool, yeah. Okay, you lucky you came back now while I still got your size and the color you want. Because if you waited too long, I would have been sold out. You're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I'm just playing. I'm kind of serious, but I'm playing. So he, he came back. He got the shirt. And then the woman from earlier, she came back as well. She was like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready to buy now. I'm ready to buy. So I say all this to say, y'all, people are sheep. People are sheep. And I know, I know, I say this all the time, you know, everybody wants to be the goat. Everybody wants to be the goat. Everybody wants to be the leader. Everybody wants to be that guy, that girl, the first, that, that I did this first, da, na, 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 na. But people are sheep. <laughs> people, they have to see, they want to see, they need to see other people supporting your brand first. And that's why, like, it's so important for me to bring the iPad because then, and even my flyer, I have my customers wearing my shirt like on the, the border of the flyer and my iPad, I have a slideshow of many different people wearing our shirts because people have to see, they need to see other people wearing your shirt. And then in this case, at the vendor event at Lockfest, or just not even Lockfest, just in general, people need to see other people supporting you. And it's, it's annoying. But I get it because I'm like that too. Like you're going to want to see, you know, who else is rocking with this brand? Like who else is, you know, having a connection, really likes it, really wants to be involved with it. Right. And so, um, so yeah, they, they followed along and then more people came, more people came. Some people buy instantly, some people came back and then people are always watching. So even though, you know, they were like, the two at first, they were like, oh, you know, I'm going to come back. If I had like a stank attitude or, you know, was like, oh, okay, you know, or just like really standoffish, like nobody's going to come back after that. But I was like, oh, okay, no problem. Thank you so much. You know, I kept smiling. I was happy. I was up dancing. I was cheering on, you know, the um, performers and the entertainers who were on the stage. Like I did not let that phase me. I was still happy and then I was still, it was still early. So I wasn't too upset. <laughs> I, I was worried, right? In the back of my head, I was like, why do they keep saying they're going to come back? Like, why are they come? They're here now. You're here now. Right? But I was like, okay, Celeste, it's still early. It's okay. It's early. I was like, it's early. you got, you got hours. You got hours. I was like, Celeste, it's okay. So you just keep smiling because they might be watching. Just so, you know, just be happy. It's okay. It's okay. Because, <laughs> y'all, I was really like, what is going on? But it's all good. I kept smiling. I was cheering on the performers. I was dancing. I was happy. And they could see that I was happy. And, you know, they could see, you know, the type of vibe, the type of energy I bring. And so... So it was all good and they came back and you know it was it was all good so i say all that to say remember remember people are watching and people are sheep they have to see other people supporting your brand they have to see other people resonating with it liking it buying from you and all of that good stuff okay okay moving on okay so this kind of goes into what i was just saying about me being up dancing and cheering people on have fun and show your personality okay nobody wants to be around you if you're sitting down at your vendor table looking uninterested on your phone not being engaged you have to be up most of the time i was standing up for majority of the time now when my feet was hurting i was sitting down when my feet started hurting i sat down because child i was up for like a good like eight what was that like an eight hour event 
Yeah, so that's a lot of standing, right? That's like a full day's work. And plus, I was traveling earlier. Listen, it was a long day. So yes, I was sitting down, but I also stood up for majority of the time. And like I said, I was dancing. Um, you know, I had my phone out. I was recording people, recording me, having a good time. I was cheering on the performers. Like I said, just showing my personality, showing that I'm fun, showing that I'm friendly, showing that if you come up and talk to me, I'm not going to give you you know a rude or nasty type of interaction like i'm going to be smiling i'm going to be engaging i want to talk to you i want to follow you on instagram i want to know what you do you know what i'm saying so show your personality and even if you're shy right even if you're an introvert because believe it or not i'm not an introvert i'm an ambivert right i can be um extroverted and really like outgoing and crazy but I'm also very reserved and shy and I got to feel the room and the area before I like show my true self. But I'm very much, I keep to myself a lot. And so, you know, even if you are that introvert type of person, you still have to, as a business owner, you got to step outside your comfort zone and just try, try. I'm not saying you have to be like totally crazy and wild, but you do have to at least try to connect with you know the audience and the people who are there um you do have to at least try to start some conversation you know just something to show that you're engaged to show that you're here so that you want to be here a lot of times i see vendors and it's just like do you even want like how much you pay to be here you must not have paid a lot because you don't look like you really want to be here you know so um you just really got to step outside your comfort zone and try at least try that's all i'm saying but um yeah have fun and show your personality okay moving on all right sorry you guys if the lighting um the sun is starting to go down so the lighting might be changing a little bit so sorry about that but we are almost done on to the last one so the last thing i have written here is don't let anyone or anything stop you and when i say stop you i mean stop you from going to the event stop you from buying the vendor fee this just stop you don't let anything or anyone stop you in whatever it is that you're doing and i say this because y'all would not believe the stress i went through the day before the event i can do a whole complete rundown story time if you want another day but long story short y'all <laughs> that Friday before Lockfest, before the event, was supposed to be payday. Your girl did not get paid. And that money was supposed to be used for many different things that I needed for the trip. And I didn't have it. When I tell you I was at work crying on the phone with human resources, sending emails to human resources back and forth with the... Like, I... I was so stressed. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to go to a different state. And I already did. I already had paid the vendor fee and I already did this and I already did that. But I don't have everything that I need. I was so stressed. I was so stressed. I was so worried. I was so scared of the unknown because I didn't know what was about to happen. I didn't know what was about to happen. I was so Scared. I knew I was still going to go, but I didn't know how I was going to make it work. And so I say, don't let anything or anyone stop you because things are going to happen. That's just life, right? Things are going to come up. Things that you expected to be there or expected to happen may not happen, may not be there, but still go. Go. And that ties back into the first thing. Prepare for the worst, but hope for the best everything will work out everything will work out in its own time and everything will work out how it's supposed to work out okay hey oh my gosh so i'm so sorry i forgot to mention this part i forgot to write it down and i forgot to tell you all but i definitely wanted to add this in here before i close out this video so another thing that happened while i was vending this weekend at Lockfest was that there were a few people who weren't too happy with my prices so usually my shirts are thirty dollars but this past weekend i took five dollars off and then they also got a free tote bag and i was making sure to always say free tote bag free tote bag free tote bag because i'm sure people were probably expecting like 15 dollars shirts 20 dollars shirts but um 
yeah no they were $25 and I stood firm on that I could have brought the price down I could have negotiated with them but um I didn't want to and you don't have to either um if you feel the need to if you feel like maybe okay these aren't selling and I need to do something to make them sell then sure go down to 20 or 15 make sure you still get a profit but whatever you decide to do I however I was doing pretty well and there were people who were there buying the $25 shirt so I didn't feel the need to lower my price and I stood firm on it but I did want to mention that there were some people you know when I said $25 plus a free tote bag they were like oh they were like like you could see it in their face they were not happy with the price and that's totally fine um you know they'll just they'll, they'll just have to miss out you know um, but yeah, I did want to mention that stay firm on your price or if you want to negotiate it, that's fine. It's whatever. It kind of just depends on you. If you feel like you're doing well, people are okay with your price, then keep it at that price. If you really want to make that sale or if you're not making enough sales, then lower your price. It's up to you. But yeah, I definitely wanted to mention that before I close out this video. And yeah, okay. So <laughs> I hope this video was super duper girl what <laughs> i hope this video was super duper helpful um i'm still on a high from the whole trip like i said it was this past weekend and this was my second vendor event and my second time selling out at my vendor event so i don't want to say i'm a pro or nothing but yeah girl like she kind of knows what she's talking about it's like no it's like no no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding I, this is all a learning experience for me I'm still very, like, very, very new to this whole vendor world. Um, it's, I love it. I mean, I love it. I love meeting these new supporters. I love just seeing people's excitement when they see the brand or, or when they're like, oh my gosh, I've seen this before. Or, oh my gosh, I love, like, it's just, it's, oh, it's an awesome experience. Um, so I definitely plan on doing more. Um, I hope to make more videos that are helpful to you all. If you have any questions or any comments, definitely leave them down below. I will respond and answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video and for all your support and love. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Celeste Gregory. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.